So Virgos, this is a very uh, relationship oriented spread. First of all, we have the stability within the household. We have the Ace of Cups and then we have the Three of Cups coming through here. So I do feel definitely there is um, some forward movement, some forward progression and also like some endings to casual dating and some solidification of a significant relationship in your life, okay, is what I'm sensing here. Um, so let's start from the beginning and let's look at this through the financial lens first, even though we don't have a single pentacles card on this in the spread, but let's look at some um, financial, you know, constituents of this spread first. I do feel that for a lot of you, you are going to be, um, you're going to be quite secure in the work front because we have three, four, and then eight of, pen, uh, eight of uh, wands, as well as the ace of wands. So it's kind of like, you know, nose to the grindstone type of month in which you are trying to incorporate another person into your work environment. You're trying to, um, build up that foundational base, especially when it comes to work and build up your sense of um, either build up your portfolio or incorporating another person or expanding your physical structure of your work environment. And that can be taking on more clients, managing more portfolios, um, thinking about new projects that you can incorporate. Okay. So it, it looks very expansive. It looks like you're expanding outwards and, um, there might be some restriction when it comes to time constraints where there might be, you know, contraction and then expansion and then periods of contraction coming through possibly for the first two weeks of the month, which you might not have enough time to fully expand and take on more clients, for example. But I do feel because there aren't, you know, a single pentacles, showing up card showing up in this spread i don't feel finances are going to be you know of utmost importance for you for this month i do sense that there are definitely a lot of uh it's very relationship focused so let's talk about this aspect of it i do sense that starting the beginning of this month a lot of you are starting to realize that um you know, like September, a lot the during the eclipse season, I do feel that a lot of new challenges and new truths have been revealed to you. Okay, and it's it's going to continue through this month, but the truths that are being revealed this month are more welcoming rather than the ones that were revealed in September regarding regarding your home environment, regarding your work environment. There might have been instability in that aspect. But it's definitely over, so you don't have to worry about it. I do sense that um, for a lot of you, you are going to have to re-examine your relationships this month. There is definitely a lot of love coming through. You're realizing that maybe casual dating, it's fun, and it helps rebuild your self-esteem, and you have a lot of love to give. So you want to like spread yourself thin. You want to go out, socialize, mingle, and things like that, okay? However, you realize that um, because it's casual dating, because you can't really have reached that emotional depth with another person, you feel that you can't really, you know, it, it seems weird, but you felt in the past, you felt as, as if you can separate, um, you can separate like, you know, sex from love is what I'm sensing. And I do feel that coming through for this month, for a lot of you, if you continue the social dating aspect, you're going to realize that you're not, you're, you're left feeling somewhat empty. Okay. It can continue for this month. And I do feel, especially for Virgo men, regardless of whoever it is you're dating, I do sense that it can continue, but you're going to start to feel that this is not really my vibe. This is not something that I want and it, it's, it's leaving me very empty. So I can have like casual love affairs. I can have like one night stand, but I really want something with a little bit more emotional depth. And I feel that there might be a partner that I am interested in. So as a result of it, you're going to shy away from casual dating. Okay. And you're going to figure out that you know, you, you need a little bit more emotional depth. You need a little bit more intellectual connection, intellectual rapport from other people in order for you to like feel physically and 
uh, chemically attracted to another person. So if it's just frivolous, fun, and partying and things like that, it served its purpose in that it helped you heal. It helped you become a whole person again, despite everything that happened in September and August and so forth. So moving forward, you have a lot of love to give and you don't want to spread yourself thin anymore. So that period of casual dating is pretty much over for a lot of Virgos. You have a lot of love to give and you want it to be type uh, a type of like devotional love where it's exclusive where it's between you and another person okay so for a lot of you if you are a female virgo I, and dating males in general if you are a virgo dating males i do sense there is going to be a very very strong prominent water sign coming through so this can be pisces cancer scorpio and i do feel that there is um I do feel that this is somebody that you want to build a life with, okay? Because he or is he or she is tied in with a um with the home environment. So this is somebody that there's going to be sincere, swift communication coming through. This is somebody that you really want to be with. It seems to me very favorable for long-term stability. However, I do sense the only thing preventing you both from reaching a relationship is that there might be some social dating either coming from your end or coming from his end which is going to make it difficult for you both to have a commitment. So one side has to relent and one side has to, you know, just, um, there definitely needs to be a discussion. So I feel like, you know, the Ace of Swords needs to be in the middle. There needs to be some type of communication in order for this relationship to get off the ground. I do feel it is going to get off the ground, nevertheless, because um, there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of um, compassion. You both are really in tune with one another. So as a result of it, the only problem here is that energy is being scattered either from you or from the, the, the water sign into other people in the relationship. So for those of you who are, you know, seeing multiple people, I do feel that this is um, a favorable, you know, relationship partner that should, that you should allow into your life. And it's also somebody that you might want to have a se cultivate a serious relationship with because it looks favorable, okay? Aside from that, for those of you Virgos who are dating uh, women, just women, I do feel that there is going to be an air sign. A, this is an air sign woman coming through, and it's showing up Queen of Swords. It can be a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius. And I do feel that, you know, Queen of Swords are a little bit abrasive. They're kind of difficult to deal with. However, there's a very strong intellectual connection between the two of you. And I do feel that this, this Queen of Sword is somebody that is, um, the energy is triggering, you know, towards the end of this month. She might be around throughout the month, but I do feel some type of um, proposal some type of offer is on the table with this air sign woman that is coming through for you the end of this month. So if you are, you know, whatever your gender is, you're a Virgo dealing with an air sign woman, I do feel some type of a um, connection coming through by the end of this month. Whereas if you're dealing with like water sign, there's some type of special connection, very strong chemistry, special connection with a water sign coming through at the beginning of the month. But either way, I do feel you're looking for love. You're definitely looking for love. It's definitely on the offering for you. It's it's on the on the table. And the only thing you want to decide for yourself is, okay, so here's love and here are the major choices that you're going to have to take. Do I take the low road? And there's nothing wrong with that. There's no value judgment here, but I'm I'm reading this from your perspective. So you feel like, okay, in the past, I've sought out partners who were very physically attractive, who were very like, you know, chemically, we were really good in bed together, but I wasn't really happy. I wasn't really emotionally fulfilled. Moving forward, I do want somebody who is very like intellectually stimulating, who I can talk to about things, who has like, who's witty, who's communicative. And it's just somebody that I can communicate with on a very deep, profound level. Okay, so if that's what you're looking for, I do feel, you know, Queen of Swords is somebody, the sword energies are very communicative. So I do feel that this is something that is going to be favorable for you to pursue in the future. Okay, at the same time, like I said, um, 
I do sense something, some type of breakthrough, communication breakthrough happening for you where you're scrapping out possibly like um, physically exciting relationships that went nowhere. And then you're moving forward with a new relationship just to see where it's going to take you. So at least, you know, you're open and receptive to new things. However, we do have the high priestess here, which does indicate, you know, our sense of deep uh, knowing our sense of intuition and this is also a very spiritual card in the reverse position indicates to me as well underneath the ace of cups in the past you were a little bit misguided when it comes to love and i i do feel that moving forward you're going to have more clarity more um information as to what it really requires to have and maintain a stable and a healthy relationship okay and I feel odd saying that for Virgos because you have a deep sense of responsibility but you do want to find somebody that you're you know intellectually compatible with because that's what's going to sustain you long term you are ruled by the planet Mercury so in fact you really want somebody that you can have very a very strong emotional connect emotional and intellectual connection with it might be hard to achieve an emotional connection with this Queen of Swords however the intellectual excitement is really great and it can work out long term because I do feel that you know it's based on love and it's based on like mutual respect for one another's um, um, intellect one another's um, sense of respect one another on a human level okay so in the past too you were dealing with people who you have a very strong emotional pull with that might have boundary issues so moving forward you want somebody who's a little bit more detached who's a little bit more aware of themselves where they end where you begin so that you don't end up with like boundary issues you don't end up like getting married too soon where you have to div divvy up the assets and there might be like lingering attachments mainly because you have joint assets together so you know it's it's the whole protecting your boundaries moving forward you want to really protect your boundaries you really want to know on a philosophical level what somebody expects from you so that you can approach relationships on more of an even footing okay but either way for those of you who are single i do sense that there's definitely love interest no matter who you're dating i do feel water sign and air signs coming through Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini's coming through for you. And these are pretty strong, prominent signs on the off on the table for you. For those of you who are uh, socially dating, I do sense that socially dating, um, you're not really sleeping with a lot of people. So you're going out, you're blowing off steam, and you're just, you know, casually dating mainly because you want to find the right one. And I do feel that you know what the right person is and you're holding off on it. You're trying to find the right person for you. So you're kind of holding off on, you know, sleeping around and, and things like that, which is fine. But I do feel around you is going to be water sign, air signs. For those of you who are, you know, who have like, who has somebody in mind, I do feel there is going to be a reluctance in offering, you know, this, this love because you have some some healing that you needed to do in the past so you're a bit reluctant to invest 100 percent in a relationship hence this social dating but i do feel the social dating is going to leave you very empty mainly because you're an earth sign and i do feel that you know you want more sta stability in your relationship you want like a, a sense of direction where your relationship is headed so the social dating is fun. It helps rebuild your self-esteem, but it's it can only serve its purpose for so long, okay? So you might want to decide who it is that you want to be with and then forge a new path for yourself. This air sign is coming through, and this is going to be some, like a life changer, mainly because whenever I see the Queen of Swords, she is somebody that can pave a new path for herself or for you. Okay, so this is definitely coming in as an energy that is all about severance, severing things from the past that no longer works for us so that we can begin anew with a clean slate and we can begin the next phase in our lives. Okay, so that's definitely coming through for you. And I do feel this is somebody that is going to be very instrumental in your life for the next few months and for the next few years. All right.
So um, going back to what I was saying, for a lot of you, you might have moved into a new home environment and I do feel it's starting to stabilize. And that's why I mentioned the party because I do feel home festivities, festivities in the home front. I do sense that if you're hosting, once again, be very clear about who it is that you're trying to in, uh, to invite. Because with a high priestess, if you look at her, she has this, um, possibly this list of um, guests so, for example, what I mean is if you're socially dating and if you're so socially dating like um, Karen, Nikki, you know, um, Susan and you they OK, so you're socially dating all three women and you're just like, OK, I'm throwing this shindig at my house and I want, you know, these people to come. But what if they're they have obligations somewhere else? So you call you call Karen and, you know, she's. Um, She's telling you maybe, or she tells you flat out no, and then you call the other person, and then there's like shifts and changes in plans, and then at the end, all three of them show up. So just be careful if you are socially dating, throwing a party at your house, having a guest list, and you find yourself in a slightly awkward situation where three people that you're socially dating um, all show up. Two of them have, might have backed out and then they realize, oh, okay, by the way, I can come. So just don't get yourself in that situation. The best thing to do is figure out who is most important to you that you want to invite and stick with them because it feels like the two important players that are in your social and in your romantic life are dependable because you have water signs. They're very emotionally rooted. You have air signs. What you see is pretty much what you get. They're both in the upright position, indicating to me that they what they they say what they mean. So if they tell you I'm going to be there, or if they tell you no, I'm not going to be there, that's what they mean. So you know, narrow down your guest list and invite the people that are important to you. Okay, that's a strong warning that I'm I'm getting. So I just have to say it, you know, reiterate the message. 